What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're talking about the incredible creators for Blender. If you've never heard of Blender before, it's one of the most amazing softwares to have come out for VFX, 3D modeling, animation, and so much more. Not only that, but it's completely free, which makes it one of the easiest softwares to get into. If you're new here to the channel, this series focuses on some of the most amazing techniques coming out from the community. That's right, we're talking about creators just like you. Because Blender on its own is super powerful, but it would not be nearly as dope if it wasn't thanks to these creators on this list. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. Also, if you're already subscribed, want to send a huge thank you because you guys are helping us get that much closer to our goal of 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. These creators are not in order of importance, they're just too dope to compare like that, but the final three are going to be the ones that absolutely blew my mind and inspired me the most. So make sure you stick around until the very end so you don't miss out on that one. Anyways, I got the list, let's hop right in. First up at number 10, here we have one from Yunsen Ho who creates these amazing 3D to 3D conversions in Blender. So all of these were illustrated first and then converted into 3D using Blender. I love the way that these came out and the use of hand-drawn text textures, which is just super impressive. Love your work a lot, and I hope to see more. Next up at number nine. All right, here we have one from Bamboo Pixel, who brings us this zombie sand animation scene from his short film. Now, this is actually a combination of Houdini and Blender. So Houdini was used to simulate those sand particles, and then the rest of this was animated and rendered in Blender. I love how captivating this piece came out, and I hope to see more. Here we have at number eight, user three robots, who creates this awesome donut model and render now, if you guys have ever followed that tutorial from Blender Guru for making donuts, you know that there's some awesome techniques in there. But user 3 robots pushes this to the next level by making this donut using Lego pieces, which is just mind blowing and a super fun concept. Number seven on the list, this next piece is a train station render from user Watchamod, also known as 3D Polka on Instagram. Now, what's mind blowing about this render is not just how amazing it looks, but also that this was done using the EV render in Blender. Most users of Blender know that Cycles is a preferred render for creating photorealistic and just super high quality animations and renders, while EV is known as the more real-time based, a little bit finicky render that may not give as impressive results. So to see 3D Polka just pushing the EV render to its limits by creating this amazing train station scene is just mind-blowing. And I love that he also included a breakdown so you can see the many layers that build up this awesome looking piece. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. At number six, here we have one from Zach Simonera who creates this amazing looking series of animals that were modeled and animated and rendered all within Blender. I love the way that these animals move so fluidly and realistically, like the way that this gecko actually squiggles his body and this giraffe can change from a walk to a gallop, as well as this octopus and ray fish and snake, all of them just look so great. Another really cool thing about these is that they're rendered using Eevee as well. So that means we're looking at almost real-time renders using that engine. This is just insane and I love the way that this series came out. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. This next one is not so much of a technique as it is a really awesome resource and that is Envato Elements. If you guys have never heard of Envato Elements before, they're my favorite resource for creatives because they come super super stacked with not just your generic basic resources, they actually have stock footage, graphic templates, After Effects, Premiere Pro, Motion, Project Files, sound effects and music, and and honestly, that's just the tip of the iceberg because I think they have over like 23 million different resources. All of those assets bundled into one subscription-based model. We've been using it on the channel for the past two years and it's been tremendously helpful. So I'm super excited to get to tell you guys that they're actually offering a free seven-day trial. Make sure you go ahead and check that link in the description box so you guys can get access to the insane amount of resources that they have. Anyways, enough of the plugs. Let's just hop right back 
reaction to the video. All right, we're about halfway through at number five. Yo, okay, this one I'm super excited about. This one is from User Anything, who creates this awesome looking game, which is a combination of Unreal Engine 4 and Blender. This one is called Shooter League. It's a first person shooter basketball game that honestly looks like a mixture of Call of Duty and Rocket League met together to create something awesome. The newest versions of Blender by themselves don't actually have a game engine that was more in the older versions. So the final game engine of this is actually Unreal real engine but all the models that you're looking at all those animations are done right inside of blender which is pretty mind-blowing to see this combination of two softwares i'm pretty excited about this one because the developer said it's going to be a free-to-play game and just looking at this gameplay footage gets me super hyped because who doesn't love playing with balls <laughs> anyways love your work a lot and i hope to see more if you guys are enjoying these creators and want to show support for this series make sure that you hit that like button it does a tremendous amount number four on the list here we have one from user Adindin, who's also Adindin on YouTube, and he brings us this amazing looking model of Sirius Black from Harry Potter. All of this was modeled inside of Blender, which is just mind blowing because before I would think that photorealistic models would have had to be done in something like ZBrush, but no, Adindin pushes those boundaries of Blender by bringing us this really amazing looking model and this breakdown time lapse as to how this was even created. I mean, just take a look at those hair details. This is just insane. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. All right, it's heating up at number three. Here we have one from user Prey to Wolves who creates this amazing Rick and Morty claymation animation all within Blender. I love the render style of this and the way that you're able to create these different characters from the show with this awesome claymation style. This has to be one of my favorite fan art pieces I've seen for this show. Love your work and I hope to see more. Number two on the list. Here we have one from user Adin Gauda who creates this realistic forest path animation. It's in first person perspective and the way that this render came out looks photorealistic. There's so many details on this path from the grass to the terrain to the different elements of trees and the sky in the background. All this just coming together to look amazing. Not only that but this breakdown shows us the many different layers that are used to build up this piece. Love your work a lot adding Gauda and I hope to see more. And last but not least at number one here we have one from user Simitsis aka Sebastian Laviri. This is actually a continuation of the beach simulation that he did in the previous episode, whereas that one was an amazing use of geometry nodes and flip fluids. This one brings that to a whole nother level by actually including wet maps. So that means every time that this water actually touches the rocks, we're getting this different texture coming on, which just looks super amazing and even more realistic. I love the way that you also gave us the project file because who does not love being able to see the magic behind someone's work with an actual Blender project file. So huge props to Simitsis. That procedural fish that you're looking at right there is actually from Ben aka BBN19 who was also in a previous episode of our Blender Techniques video. So it's super inspiring to see you two coming together to create an awesome piece. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. So those techniques were some of the most impressive that I've seen but I'm sure there's a whole bunch more that you guys have found and probably want to see featured here so make sure you go ahead leave a comment down below so that we can check it out. If you're interested in learning more Blender techniques make sure you go ahead and click this video. It's gonna be showing a lot more creators, a lot of dope techniques just some of the most mind-blowing stuff that I've seen using the software so I don't know what you're still doing here go ahead check that video out I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who has hit that subscribe button it's helped us get that much closer to our goal of 500,000 subscribers anyways thanks for watching I hope to catch you in the next one peace